ओम सदाशिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मताचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाजरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाभूर्त नम ओं सहनामवचु सहन घन सह वीर कर्वाह तेजस्वीतावी तमस्वा विषा वह ये ओं शांत शांत शांति धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यातमुच्यते प्रकृति कृतबंतादिर्धातु ब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंड व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्तुमेदुकाहा Sattvadhyaya, which shloka were we on? I think we finished the twelfth, right? Thirteenth onwards. So in twelfth shloka, which was introduced with Kincha, in continuation with what was said earlier. What was said earlier? केन केन धर्मेण विशिष्टे तोई सर्वमिदं प्रोतम इति उच्यते अर्जुन मे बी इन्क्वायरिंग इन हिज माइंड एज टू व्हाट आर दीज धर्मास दैट दैट आई शुड बी लुकिंग एट व्हिच इज ऑल यू देयर बाय स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एट श्लोक भगवान गेव सम एग्जांपल्स एज टू वेयर ऑल यू कैन सी मी then in 12th he said uh, 11th he said balam balavatan chaham kamaraag vivarjitam dharma viruddha bhuteshu kamosmi bharatarshab i am the bala in those who are balwan and i am <coughs> what kind of a bala am i i am that without kama and raga that bala which is not driven by kama and raga whereas kama also i am what kind of kama am i dharma aviruddha that kama which is not opposed to dharma and then we saw that this is in the beginning for us to gain dharma gain punya so overall everything is bhagwan which will be known only when we, once the michyatva nishchaya is complete otherwise we have to hold on to the division earlier we should partake of the good and drop all the bad although everything is bhagwan So we pray to Ganesha. We say, uh, "He is who? Vigna Harta. He is Vigna Harta. But who is the Vigna Karta? We don't have Satan the way Christians have it. We don't have Satan. When we say Rakshasas, who have tam, who are driven by tamas, tamas, tamasika ha. Still, they are but Satan for us. It is all Atma which is pervading everything." thereby in the end we have to say vigna harta is also ishwara based on our karma he is not troubling us because he does not like us or anything there is no raga dvesha for ishwara ishwara gives us trouble for us to outgrow that we earn that through our papa karma thereby anything which any trouble which comes from circumstances or through others is not due to they are troubling us it is not something satanic it is due to our own papa which is ready for rectification now thereby there is only one tattva that tattva itself is vigna karta as well as vigna harta based on our papa or punya respectively so although kama ha dharma aviruddha kama is ishwara that's where we start and everything finally should be known as ishwara ईशावास्यम इदम सर्व किंच एंड फर्दर हियर ही हिंट्स इट दैट ये च 
ये चाहिए वह सात्विका भावा राजसास ताम तमसास तामसास चाहिए ये टाइप हो ये ये चाहिए वह सात्विका भावा राजसास तामसास चाहिए मत्ते व इति मत्ते व मत्ते व इति तान विधि नतु अहम तेशु ते मई all these sattvika, rajasa and tamasa, bhavas, all these beings and things, they are all, they are born from me. And how? Not separating from me. Really there is no separation. Bhagavan is a vivartha upadana karna, vivartha abhinna nimitta upadana karna. He has never become many, but everything is born from him without being separated. Meaning it is just an appearance of Ishwara. So everything is the manifestation of Ishwara without him undergoing change. Thereby everything borrows its Satta. The appearance is due to its Satta. We, like, we objectify that something exists. That Satta is borrowed from Ishwara. It is Ishwara Satta, Atma Satta. Spurana is also Ishwara Spurana or Atma Spurana. They don't have any of the Satchit Ananda in them. Satta, Chitta and Anandattam is borrowed from Ishwara. There is no Vishaya Sukha. That is also borrowed from Ishwara. What do they have then? They have only Nama Rupa. This Jagat is Nama Rupatmaka. All these Bhavas are Nama Rupatmaka. If you took a look at them as things, if you look at them as sentient beings, then also it is all manifestation of that Ishwara as Jiva. This is what we saw in the end. Evam bhutam api parameshwaram nitya shuddha buddha mukta sabhavam sarva bhutatmanam nirgunam samsara dosha bija pradaha karanam maam na abhijanati jagat iti anukrosham darshayati bhagavan. So Bhagavan, Ishwara, Krishna, who, is, who has taken this janma of Krishna, what does he do? He Abhikrosha, he says that, sorry, I switched the screen. Uh, yeah, so, Evam Bhutam Api, this Parameshwara who is Evam Bhuta, he is of this type, meaning he is the support for the entire universe, the entire Prapancha is born from him, but without it separating from him. So, Kena Kena Gunena, if you, if you have to think which all gunas, all that manifested prapancha, all gunas, they are manifestations of Brahma, of Nirguna Brahma through the Maya Shakti. So, Saguna Brahma itself, which is not different from Nirguna Brahma, is manifested through the Apara Shakti. He is, he is Para uh, and Para Prakriti. And then Apara Prakriti is what he uses to manifest himself, otherwise para prakriti is nirguna, it cannot manifest. Now this evam bhutam api parameshwaram, who is of this type, this parameshwara who is of this type in second case, since na janati, na janati has been said there by second case, evam bhutam api parameshwaram na janati, na abhijanati, people do not understand jagat, they don't understand this, this kind of a parameshwara, who is pervading the entire prapancha, they do not understand the jagat na bhijanati nitya shuddha buddha mukta sabhavam. Who is satchidananda brahma? Nitya shuddha is ever pure. Nitya means sat, shuddha ever pure, buddha jnana sarupa, mukta ever free. That kind of a parameshwara who has that sabhava. So nitya shuddha buddha mukta sabhavaha. और स्वरूप यस्य यस परमेश्वर नित्य शुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त स्वभाव तम परमेश्वर नित्य शुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त स्वभाव न अभिजानाति हु इज दैट मी माम माम न अभिजानाति एंड हु इज दैट परमात्मा सर्वभूत आत्मानम हु इज द आत्मा ऑफ ऑफ ऑल भूता सर्व Sarvesham Bhutanam Atmanam Na Janati Who is the Atma The very I, I Whenever a Jeeva Considers oneself as I And thereby Cognizes anything through any of the sense organs 
or in the antakkarana when vichara is being done then also there is aham aham vritti is there then idam vritti is there prapancha thereby that i manifested as i who is that in each and every being that is parameshwara so sarva bhutatmanam who is nirguna really nirguna and samsara dosha bija pradaha karanam who is the karana although nirguna he is the samsara dosha bija pradaha karanam he burns the his karana for as i said vigna karta as well as vigna harta but we see him as vigna harta so who removes this who uh, dahana has been mentioned here prakarsha daha daha is dahanam there is a bhave vipatti for daha pradaha bija pradaha karana samsara dosha all the afflictions of samsara which is the karya of ajnana therefore its bija is ajnana so samsara dosha bija is ajnana and ajnana pradaha pradaha he burns thereby dahana karanam he is the karana for burning of the seed of samsara dosha meaning ajnana he is the reason for burning ajnana maam na abhijanati once you know the this parmeshwara who is nitya shuddha buddha mukta swabhava and not only sitting elsewhere as people think that somewhere in kailas or vaikuntha he is sitting no he is sarva bhutatma that kind of ishwara who is nirguna further thereby he is he cannot be segmented as ishwara and jiva he cannot have maya he cannot have avidya he cannot be the overlord he cannot be the overruled so he cannot be really segmented as jiva even or prapancha he is what he is he is that nirguna advaita brahma samsara dosha bija pradaha karana once you know him the way he is yathatmya once you know parmeshwara yathatmya then he burns the ajnana and thereby one is freed that jagat mamna abhijanat here jagat has been used this jagat is the karta it appears that jagat is the karta of the sentence so jagat na janat means the way we say the world does not know when we say the world does not know we means we we mean to say world of people do not know so jagat mean lokaha na janati na abhijanati they do not know my swarupa iti anukrosham darshayati bhagwan this is the anukrosha even if i am available in each and every cognition ahantaya and i am there in the in the prapancha also as the adishthana still i who pervade the entire prapancha make the all the cognition possible still people do not know me iti anukrosha anukrosha is piti darshayati bhagwan anukrosham darshayati bhagwan krishna anukrosham he shows he shows it such a pitiable state it is i am there wherever there is mithya prapancha in each and every cognition i am there keropanishad says that bodham bodham prati prati bodha viditam matam in each and every bodha i am there as aham still one cannot trace back inward and see who that i am instead people go to idam and then search for happiness outward which is not there at all therefore it is a never ending journey going outward thereby it's a pitiable state tach kin nimittam jagatah ajnanam ityuchyate see there is no ajnana in the earlier sentence this samsara dosha bija is ajnana tach samsara dosha bija roopa ajnanam kin nimittam that ajnana kin nimittam so kim nimittam yasya yasya ajnanasya tad ajnanam kim nimittam is a bahuri what is the cause of that ajnana and here the ajnana is not really need not be root samsara dosha bija but ajnana in general because na abhijanati we can take ajnana here i think that's what it would be na abhijanati this why is there uh, 
the, why is it that people do not know? What is that Ajnana due to which they do not know? Finally it will mean the same. There is no other Ajnana. Ajnana is one. But it manifests in different ways. It manifests in different ways. It can be based on particular subjects and so on. So, na bhi janati, they do not know me. Although I am present everywhere, why don't they know me? Kin nimittam ajnanam jagata iti uchyate. Trivhir gunamair bhavair evhis sarvami danjagat mohitanna bhi janati mame bhya param avyayam. So, Triv, let me cross check this. What is uh, the Vyakya saying about kin nimittam? Just want to cross check if there is anything. So nothing much there. So yadi aprapanchaha vikriyashtatvam kasmatvam atma bhutam svayam prakasham sarvaha jana tata tatha na janati iti matva shankate tachya iti tachya kinni mittam. So this is the reason for nothing more there. Okay. So uh, just give me a moment, I want to see if there is anything else for Kinni Mittam there because it is for Ajnana. So it is, uh, that's how it is. Okay, Kinni Mittam is fine. Let's see what Bhagwan says here. Bhagwan Vashikara says, Trivhi Gunamayer Bhavaihi Evihi Sarvam Idam Jagat Mohitam na abhijanati maam ebhya param avyayam. So, three vi, three vi guna mai. We have seen these gunas. So, mayat pratya is there for guna. Mayat is here, vikare arthe. Everything is a, this jagat, idam jagat, ebhi, ebhi guna mai hi, three vi guna mai hi, bhavai hi, idam jagat mohitam. So, this, here see ajnana. So, ajnana that you see here, ajnana. Ajnana can be divided into two. Actually, it can be divided into three, but generally we, we take two. The third one is called as jnana really. So, ajnana which is which counters jnana, jnana viruddha arthe nanj. Uh, this uh, uh, akara here is nanj, which is viruddha arthe. It opposes knowledge. So, as long as ajnana is strong and knowledge is weaker, we is weak. The Ajnana continues to have its effect. Ajnana effect is what one is Avarana Shakti. It gives you Avarana, covers your own Swarupa. This is what people generally end up translating as ignorance. But it is not just that. Ajnana translation of, uh, translation ignorance for Ajnana is not doing justice. Ajnana is also Vikshepa, there is Virodhartha Nanj. It opposes knowledge. Ignorance does not give you that kind of a meaning. Ignorance means lack of something. But Ajnana here is Virodhartha it opposes knowledge, so it has some presence. Yatkinchit bhava, it is yatkinchit bhava rupa ajnana. That ajnana which opposes knowledge, it opposes how? By covering, veiling the swarupa of the atma and projecting something that you are not, including this prapancha. So ajnana here it has it includes avarna and vikshepa both. So that kinnimittam ajnana means that ajnana which has avarna and vikshepa both, that is kinnimittam. It is that, so here it is actually that adhyasa which is created, that kind of a meaning is there here. If you look at the, uh, uh, this uh, meaning here in the shloka, mohitam has been said, one is deluded. So one is deluded here. You see, uh, in the in the bhasha itself, see guna maya. Guna maya is mayat is interpreted as vikara. So guna vikari, vikara vikara arthe mayat. Thereby guna maya means guna vikara. Through these guna vikaras, which are three in number, 
which are a b has been said so pronoun which has is showing the noun which has gone by which are those satvika rajasa and tamasa these are the satvika uh, sattva rajas and tamas these are the gunas thereby a b these three gunas which are talked about a b three three b gunamai hi bhavai hi sarvam jagat idam jagat which you see as idam 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 this entire prapancha is what mohitam entire this idam jagat mohitam sat na abhijanati so jagat here is a karta either here see sarvam idam jagat three bhi guna bhi a bhi sarvam idam jagat mohitam sat na abhijanati because here also in in the sentence here we saw this jagat is a karta of the sentence na abhijanati maam na na abhijanati therefore when you make this construct also it will be in line with the sangati bhashya let's do it in the document so it's more clear so three bhi hi gunamahi all directly use this तो ए भी त्रि भी ही गुणमय ही भाव ही मोहितम मोहितम जगत इस मोहितम जगत माम परम अव्यय परम अव्यय माम परम अव्यय माम न अभिजानाति सो व्हाट कैन वी ऐड हियर दिस इज द रीजन ए भी त्रि भी गुणमय ही भाव ही मोहितम सत सो दिस इज द रीजन बीइंग डिल्यूडेड ड्यू टू दीज थ्री गुणमय भावास दिस जगत लोक हा परम अव्यय माम न अभिजानाति द वर्ल्ड does not know me in neuter it has been said in neuter so that can be confu the uh, confusion as to who is the karta of the sentence but you look at the bhashya sarvam idam prani jatam jagat vid jagat prani jatam jagat not the insentient world prani jatam the world with full of beings so world of people prani jatam all sentient beings but primarily human beings because uh, we don't uh, uh, talk about uh, the other species other than human beings as having purushartha thereby mohitam avivek avivekatam apaditam sat so sat is added here this sat we can borrow and take it in the anvaya so being deluded and sat is uh, in neuter because jagat is in neuter जग मोहित सत जगत माम न अभिजानाति दिस इज दि अन्वया हियर सो जगत इज दि कर्ता ऑफ दि सेंटेन्स सॉरी हियर वी सॉल्ट हियर एंड परम एंड अव्यय वी नो दिस अव्यय मीन्स हू नेवर चेंजेस इंडिकेट्स टूवर्ड्स नो चेंज व्यय रही तम वॉट इज दट व्यय रहीतम जन्मादि सर्वभाविकार वर्जित इज फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल दि षडविकार दैट कैन हाउ परमेश्वर पीपल डू नॉट नो पीपल डू नॉट नो वी यूज इट इन फ्लूरल और दि वर्ल्ड ऑफ पीपल डू नॉट नो डज नॉट नो कथम पुनः दैवीं एताम त्रिगुण त्रिगुणात्मिका वैष्णवी मयां अतिक्रामती उच्य है now if a person is deluded the entire world is deluded and they don't know because the entire world will always be deluded as long as maya shakti is working this maya shakti is trigunatmika maya that is the definition of maya trigunatmika maya and here gunamayi so this 
Maya, which has three gunas, will always be active. There will always be avidya then. How do you get out of this? How do you cross over, transgress that Maya? Katam punaha daivim etam trigunatmikam Maya. Vaishnavim Maya. Why Vaishnavim? Vishnu Sambandhi. Vishnu is the wielder of that Maya Shakti. Vaishnavim Maya atikramati. Katham atikramati. And daivim. It's a Deva Shakti, therefore Daivi. Daivim Vaishnavim Mayam, which is Trigunatmikam, which is made up of three gunas, Vikaras of three gunas. Actually, Bhavas are the Vikaras. Maya itself is, it's, it is made up of three gunas, as in there is nothing else but these three gunas. It says, the example is given of a rope, a rope which is made up of three strands. What is but rope? Is it the uh, modification of the st strands? It is not a modification of the strands. The strands are as they are. They are just intertwined. Similarly, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas are intertwined and this intertwining, these three put together is called as Maya. Therefore, Tikuna Atmikam, it is, uh, the three Gunas are its Atma. Atma means Swarupa. There is nothing else for Maya. Maya is not made up of three Gunas as in it is a Vikara. It is made up of three gunas means there is nothing other than these three gunas. The three gunas put together is what maya is. And that kind of a maya which is daivi maya, vaishnavi maya, how katham punaha atikramati, how does one cross over? Thereby 14 shloka, daivi hesha gunamai mama maya duratyaya mame vaye prapadyante maya me tantarantite. So, Daivi, He, Esha, Gunamai, Mama, Maya, Duratyaya, Maam, Eva, Ye, Prapadyante, Mayam, Etam, Tarantite. So, Esha, Esha, He, Gunamai, Maya, Mama, Maya, Esha, this Esha, Maya, which is, which is this Maya, Gunamai, that we have talked about, Trigunatmika. And in the earlier shloka also what was seen, that maya is what? Mama maya. It is my maya, says Krishna. He says that it is not, uh, that this maya is something else separately existent. It is my shakti and shakti shakti matayor abheda. There is no difference between shakti and shakti man. You cannot show the shakti separately from Bhagwan. You cannot show. Just like this agni and tejaha. Agni and uh, the Teja, the heat, the fire which burns, this the Shakti of burning, is it different from the fire or is it same? It has to be same. It cannot be different. When, when do you see burning separately from the fire? You don't see. Since we have never seen the burning separately from the fire, therefore it is one with the fire. It cannot be shown separately. Shakti and Shakti Mayor Abheda. There is no difference between the two. Although here what will we say that due to Karya you have inferred that Maya. So you cannot show it as separately existent. It is inferred as a Shakti which should be there. Because this Karya is seen. It is inferred. It does not have real existence. So it cannot be shown to be uh, existing separately from Ishwara. And what is that? He Esha Gunamai Mama Maya Daivi Mama Maya Duratyaya Bhavati. It is difficult to cross Duratyaya. Duratyaya, the uh, I think it is Dukhena Chaya would be. Just give me a moment. Duratyaya. Wanted to look up the Dukhena. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Dukhena Atiyate. So it's very difficult to cross this Maya. See, Sattva Rajas Tamas will always keep on having some effect. Even if you use Sattva and cross over Rajas, which you use to cross over Tamas, Tamas can be crossed over by using Rajas. Rajas can be crossed over using tam, uh, Sattva. Still, Sattva will be there. How do you give up Sattva? If you give up Sattva well before you have had Mithyatva Nishchaya and you don't have enough Punya, we have not got Jnana, Sattva cannot be given up. Sattva has to be held on. Rajas should be held on for us to earn Punya. 
that kind of rajas should be hold on. It's a very difficult balance. It's difficult to cross. Thereby, this maya which deludes us. Once you start acting based on the gunas, since we, there is no other choice, we are born based on these gunas. We are born into particular family due to the balance, particular balance of the gunas. Now these will prod us to act in a particular manner. Thereby, we will be under the influence all the time. How do you give up? It's very difficult to cross. So there's a catch-22. You cannot cross over all the gunas unless you have jnana and to get the jnana also you need some balance of gunas whereby keeping that perfect balance is difficult and we keep on tripping we keep on tripping and getting trapped in one of these gunas combination of gunas it is not one guna it's combination of gunas there is a predominance of one at a particular time thereby we get keep on getting trapped in this gunas and guna karyas Thereby it is very difficult to cross over. Duratyaya. Si dukhena astyaya atikramanam yasyaha sa duratyaya. Actually, uh, always we do it on the document. So, uh, the bhashya we have to come back. I already have this bhashya open. It slipped my mind. I was looking elsewhere as to what would this be. So, duratyaya is dukhena astyaya atikramanam yasyaha. means atikramanam yasya. Yasyaha. Feeling yasyaha sa duratyaya. That which is difficult to cross is maya. This Maya Vaishnavi Shakti Gunami Mama Maya Duratya Bhavati. Then how do you cross over? Katham Punaha Vaishnavi Maya Mati Kramati. That is being answered by saying, Ye Mameva Prapadyante. Those who take refuge unto me, only unto me. Thereby, in the end, Bhagavan says in the 18th chapter in 66 Shloka. Sarva dharman parityajya maam eka sharanam vraja. Who is that maam? Who is that aham there? That aham cannot be Krishna the way you, he sees Krishna. Tatreyam sati sarva dharman parityajya maam eva maya vinam swatma bhutam. That maya vi who is swatma bhuta who sarvatmana ye prapadyante. Through sarvatma bhava those who know that Ishwara who appears to me as this Krishna is nothing but Ishwara. That Ishwara is the basis for every thing that I cognize in this prapancha. And thereby Sarva Bhuta, Sar Sarvatma Bhava is there for that Jnani. Thereby Sarva Dharman Parityajya Mameva, who is that me? Aham Maya Vinam. Initially, one the wielder of Maya, Ishwara. And who is not different from me, Swatma Bhutam, who is me. And not only me, it is not that Ishwara is me alone. I mean, I am Ishwara. I am Ishwara, so is anyone else. Everyone is manifestation of the same Ishwara, thereby Sarvatma Bhava is there. Sarvatmana ye prapadyante. Those who worship or who approach the Lord with that kind of a, uh, an attitude understanding thereby those who take refuge unto him as not separate from oneself you take refuge unto that Krishna who is Ishwara who is me thereby through Brahmatma Sarvatma Bhava as Brahmatma I am that Ishwara thereby te etam mayam saranti this is how the Anvaya is we will do the Anvaya there so that it is easy to recall. Devi he. Since you have already done it, you can just be added and you can cross check if there is some correction you need to make or if you are comfortable with that, that is fine. Devi he. he esha Gunami Esha. You can say Esha hi Gunamai Mama Daivi Maya Esha hi Gunamai Mama Daivi Maya Duratyaya Bhavati and then Ye Maam Eva Prapadyante Te Etam Maya Taranti
फर्दर यदि त्वाम प्रपन्ना माया मेतां तरंती कस्मा त्वामेव सर्वे न प्रपद्यंते इत्युच्यते इफ दिस इज वेल नोन यू नो दैट इफ यू टेक रिफ्यूज इन टू भगवान देन दे यू कैन क्रॉस ओवर माया इफ एवरी वन नोज दैट एवरी वन कैन क्रॉस ओवर वाई डोंट दे टेक रिफ्यूज इन टू यू एंड क्रॉस ओवर वाई इज इट दैट पीपल डोंट डू दैट न माम दुष्कृत नो मूढ़ा हा प्रपद्यंते न राधमा हा माये या पहरत अज्ञाना आसुरम भाव माश्रिता हा Why? Because not everyone is like you, Arjuna. Says Bhagwan. He says, दुष्कृत दुष्कृति न हा मूढ़ा हा दुष्कृति न इस वो those who have दुष दुष्कृता means पाप कर्म so those who have duskrita papa karma they are duskriti 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 naha in plural mudaha thereby they are deluded due to their papa being so strong that they remain deluded even when they are taught let alone when not taught even when they are taught they remain so and they don't cross over maya naradhamaha sir naradhamaha narana madhye adhamaha nikrishtaha they are Adama, they are even uh, after taking human birth, they are not interested in the purushartha. What purushartha they are interested in? Artha and kama. That's all. There is no dharma. There is no possibility of moksha even. Those kind of people are adama. They are inferior even among human beings. They are inferior. So they have just got the human body, but the tendencies are continuing the way they are for animals, pranis. Thereby, mooda ha, they are deluded. Papa karin ha is the meaning for duskriti na ha, and mooda ha, Parmeshwaram, Maam, Parmeshwaram Maam, na prapadyante, they do not do that. This is the reason. Duskriti, having papa, is the or doing papa. Those who do papa, papa karma, and thereby have papa means papa phala. They do papa karma and get papa phala. Therefore, this therefore the cycle continues. Papa cycle continues a vicious circle, and thereby they remain adhama even when they get human janma, nara janma, but still they continue with 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 that which will have which will retain the bad karma or which will produce more and more papa. Thereby they are mudha ha and remain deluded. Maya ya apahrta jnana ha. See, aparana has been done. Jnana aparana has happened. Whatever jnana, little jnana they 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 get is is stolen by Maya. Maya ya stolen by Maya. It's figurative. Aparuta, see aparuta. You can understand by a similar word. Put a bhave. If you don't get the meaning, then you should use a bhave pratyaya. The most common bhave pratyaya is uh, is lut. So it will give you ana. So if you add ana, you will get apa apa guru. You see apa, and then it will take guna. Then uh, you will get uh, ha, and then reha will come in because of vyakrana. If you recall, if you studied, then you will get uran rapara. You will get hara. So apa hara, and then apa hara ana. You will get by lut, and then that will take natvam. So you will get apa harana. Apaharana is a common word we know. Apaharana is yes, kidnapping. So jnana is kidnapped. Apaharata jnana is bahuri. These are people. Dushkriti na ha, muda ha, narada ma ha, apaharata jnana ha, santa ha, who are apaharata jnana ha. These people being apaharata jnana meaning being those whose jnana apaharana has happened. Due to whom, who is the karta Maya? So Maya has kidnapped their jnana, whatever little jnana. Kidnap means what it is? Ajnana, ajnana takes away jnana. How by countering it? Virodharte jnana. Here also you see virodharte jnana is what you can recall. If you replace Maya by avidya or ajnana, so ajnana takes away their jnana means Maya influences and then makes them mood ha. देर बाय अपहर्ष ज्ञान हाँ संता दे बीइंग हुज ज्ञाना डज नॉट रिमेन वोटेवर लिटिल ज्ञाना दे गेट इट गोज अवे अपहर्ष ज्ञान हाँ 
సమూషిత జ్ఞాన ఆసురం భావం ఆసురం భావం ఆశ్రిత ఆశ్రిత దే హ్యావ్ రిజార్టెడ్ టు వాట్ ఆసురం భావం దే హ్యావ్ రిజార్టెడ్ టు ఆసుర భావ దే హెవ్ టేకన్ టు ఆసుర 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 భావ వాట్ ఈస్ ఆసుర భావ సి ఆసుర వర్డ్ ఇట్ సెల్ కమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ అసుసు రమతే అసు ఆర్ ఇంద్రియ ఇంద్రియార్థ సో అసుసు ఇంద్రియార్థేషు రమతే ఇది అసుర ఆసుర అండ్ అసుర తస్య భావ ఆసురం ఆసురం భావం ఆశ్రిత ఆసురం భావం సెకండ్ కేస్ బికాస్ ఇట్స్ కర్మ ఫర్ ఆశ్రిత దోస్ హూ సో దెర్ ఇస్ నో అసుర సెపరేట్లీ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ వి డోంట్ నీడ్ టు థింక్ దట్ దే ఆర్ ఓన్లీ రాక్షస వీ హ్యావ్ రాక్షస ప్రవృత్తి వెన్ వీ గివ్ ఇన్ టు ది ఇంద్రియాస్ రాక్షస హూ ఆర్ అసురాజ్ అసురాజ్ ఆర్ దోస్ హూ rejoice in indriya arthas everyone if you look at the world today we all are engaged in all the delights that the sense organs have to offer thereby we when we do that we are asuras really when are we really manushyas when we focus on the dharma and moksha purushartha the other purusharthas we do focus on but they are guided by dharma for the end goal in mind because purushartha has to be only one it cannot be many all other purusharthas are to be focused towards that goal to end the moksha purushartha which is the real purushartha so purushartha nischay should happen only then we become a sadhaka from manushya and following the others towards the with that attitude when we follow the other three then we are, can be called as manushya otherwise if we are rejoicing in the sense organs what is the difference between animal and us animal is better off because animal indulges in sense organs only with one being more predominant mostly they are driven by hunger they don't collect like us we collect we plan for tomorrow we plan for not only our tomorrow we plan for our next generation or kids then grandchildren if possible for seven generations we would like to get wealth as well as everything you know we want to fund them as much as possible we want to live their life we want to live through their lives this is the human being who is and having mostly asura bhava asuram bhavam but really what is it this is how we get vairagya but what is the asura bhava here asura bhava himsa all this which is himsa anrutadi lakshanam aashritaha those who take to himsa human being has to have this uh, uh, daya he should have all of this karuna then only he can be called as a human being that, and that will come through dharma ahimsa paramo dharma thereby taking dharma as our support we follow the other purushartha so that we can some day land in moksha purushartha this is the idea here and twam prapannah maya metam taranti yadi తస్మాత్ త్వామేవ సర్వేన ప్రపద్యంతే దిస్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ వి ఆర్ డిల్యూడెడ్ దెర్ ఇస్ సో మచ్ టు డూ సో మచ్ టు ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ దెర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ ప్లేసెస్ టు గో సో మచ్ టు డూ వెర్ ఈస్ ద టైమ్ ఫర్ మోక్ష వీ విల్ ప్లాన్ ఇట్ ఆఫ్టర్ రిటైర్మెంట్ ఇఫ్ ఎట్ ఆల్ వీ గెట్ టైమ్ దెన్ దిస్ ఈస్ హౌ ది జర్నీ ఈజ్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ ఏ పునః నరోత్తమ పుణ్యకర్మాణ హౌ ఎవర్ ఆన్ ది అదర్ హ్యాండ్ హూ ఆర్ పుణ్యకర్మాస్ who are punya karmas against duskruti nah we have not done the anvaya let's let me finish that anvaya as well duskruti nah this is the hetu garva visheshana really mudah న మాం ప్రపద్యంతే నరాధమా మాం న ప్రపద్యంతే వాయ్ అగేన్ మాయయా అపహృత జ్ఞాన సంత సారీ దుష్కృత మూఢ నరాధమా మాయయా అపహృత జ్ఞాన 
Santaha. Let's put this in bracket here. Asuram Bhavam Ashritaha. In fact, Santa is not made Ashrita, it is there, you can go little later also here. But it is easy to understand without that Santa also. Dushkritinaha, Moodaha, Naradhamaha, or Mayaya, Apahrita Jnanaha, thereby Moodaha. It can, you can, you can switch around these words, whichever makes more sense. Dushkritinaha, Moodaha, Naradhamaha, Mayaya, Apahrita Jnanaha, and thereby Moodaha, I like that better. So, we can say, Dushkritinaha, Naradhamaha, Mayaya, Apahrita Jnanaha, Moodaha, Asuram Bhav Mashritaha, you see, you can bring this Asura also earlier, Maam Na Prapadyante, whichever makes more sense to you, all, all Anvayas are okay, all are in Samana Adhikaranam, you can rearrange the words, I like this better, so I just put it in this manner. Maam na prapadyante. <coughs> na punaha, uh, ye punaha, narottamaha. Here these are naradhamaha. But narottamaha san. Uh, nar, narottamaha santaha, those who become through dharma they gain chitta shuddhi. And then punya karma, through those punya karmas, they gain punya and also chitta shuddhi at later stages. Thereby what happens? Chatur Vida Bhajante Maam Jana Sukritono Arjuna Arto Jidnyasur Artharthi Jnani Chabharatar Shabha So Chatur Vida Purushaha Chatur Vidaha They are of four types Maam Bhajante Jis Janaha Purusha or Janaha Janaha Chatur Vidaha Maam Bhajante Or Chatur Vidaha Janaha Maam Bhajante The people who worship me They are of four, type, four types Who are Sukritinaha. Sukritinaha against Dushkritinaha, they are Sukritinaha. They have Punya. Punya, punya Karmanaha. He Arjuna. Who are those four types? Who, who are those four? Arthaha, Jijnyasuhu, Artharthi, and Jnani. Jnani cha. He Bharatarshabha. He Arjuna. He Bharatarshabha. Janaha Chaturvidaha Chaturvidaha Janaha Maam Bhajante Who are those Sukritinaha? Sukrit, uh, Sukritinaha Janaha Chaturvidaha Maam Bhajante Who are those Arthaha? Artha means those who have afflictions. Art, arti parigri, Parigrihitaha That is the meaning for Arthaha Who have been grasped by afflictions meaning those who are under the uh, pressure of these afflictions, they are they are afflicted. They have so many troubles that they don't have any other vichara in their mind. They just want this difficult time to go. They don't have time for anything else. They do, they are not even focused on the uh, good part of their life because there is so much of difficulty. They just want to come out of that. It can be lifelong. It can be you know there's struggle. You see that every day is a struggle. Or something else, you know, some disease at some point of time, something else some other time. Thereby what affliction is there. At least at the point of the time there is affliction, that time they pray to God. They pray to Bhagawan and then that is one type. Second type is Jijnyasu. Jijnyasu is one is searching for knowledge. Here what is the Arti Parigra, Parigrahita or Artha, what is the example Bhagawan Bhashagara? Taskara Vyagra. Roga dina abhibhuta, we, we just saw roga, afflicted by diseases. But also, you know, staying in a remote place earlier, Bhagavan uses this example of Vyagra, afflicted by tiger. Tiger is an upalakshana, can be any, you know, can even be mosquitoes for that matter. Of course, we don't pray, but something substantial, you know, some substantial trouble from surroundings, prani, ityadi, tatskara, Thieves, you know, there are a lot of uh, robbers in particular places. So you see, you know, in this area there is a lot of theft going on these days. These are the kind of people who who pray and say that, okay, I mean, let me come out of this difficulty and then they keep on 
you know doing offering prayers and stuff like that so this is one category artaha jignasu is who jignasu is bhagavat tattvam jnatum ichchati yah sah jignasu hu jnatum ichchu hu one who wants to know not anything and everything bhagavat tattva he wants to know the the swarupa of bhagavan he is that jignasu artharthi is third category one who wants wealth artha dhanakamaha arthaarthi wants artha praise in praise the lord for dhana see one who praise the lord for dhana is not bad one who wants to come out of this difficult situation is not bad he is all see bhajante chaturvida maam sukritinah they are also people who have punya i will solve my own problems is a person with ego one who seeks the higher authority is a is one who has punya puja swami used to give an example you know a person who is stuck in difficulty this arthah what choice does he have he cannot come out of this difficulty what do people do they take to vyasana so here puja swami used to give an example and say that this person has a choice to make now if he has papa so much of papa he'll end up in a bar he'll go and drink himself to death or to forget his problems he'll go and drink thereby he'll gain more and more papa but if he has enough punya he'll come into some kind of a uh, situation where he will think that i want to go to the temple i want to go to that take darshan of something go on a tirtha yatra sam punya i want to tap that punya tap that blessing grace through punya that also need some punya otherwise people will say you know i mean in so much of difficulty in good times nobody says that bhagwan gave me i earned this but in bad times no i i mean why god has to make me suffer why does ishwara do this to me thereby they say i don't want to go anywhere i don't want to go to the temple i want to forget my pain i'll you know take a pill and sleep off or take to drugs or alcohol so you have a choice to make and thereby when you make a choice to approach ishwara thereby sukriti nah sukriti thereby punya karmana otherwise it does not occur to people easily even in afflictions that i have to ask for something from bhagwan and how by chanting by praying by you know sahasra nama ityadi stuti shlokas so much of it is there so that's one category artharthi so one who asks for dhana is also not someone who is uh, that dhana asking from the lord also takes punya so that person is also because he trusts bhagwan to do what is needed to give me wealth people do you know lakshmi sadhana or upasana all manifestation of same ishwara in the form of lakshmi or kubera or whatever have you tirupati balaji artharthi jignasu jnatu michu slightly higher you know slightly higher among those also but finally what bhagwan says jnani is the fourth category one who is not a jignasu any more he knows my tattva jnani vishnu ho tattva vichcha one who is tattva with who knows tattva as it is that that person is also a punya karma and he also prays to the lord how ekatvena not as different from vibhutatva vishnu is vibhutvat vishnu he is the all pervasive tattva not that vishnu who is the sustainer of the universe or uh, manifestation of narayana with one aspect it is that ishwara who has pervaded the entire prapancha as harana vibhutvat vishnu who is all pervasive vibhu who is that same atma that i am same atma that anyone else thinks he is segmented but really not segmented that jnani also is uh, also maam bhajate bhajante so all these four sukritnah janaha jnani is the fourth category in continuation what of among these four who is the the most superior tesham jnani nitya yukta ekabhaktir vishishyate 
प्रियो ही ज्ञानी नोत्यर्थम अहं सचम मम प्रिया हा तेशाम तेशाम मध्ये अमाउंट इस फोर ज्ञानी नित्य युक्ता हा हु इस नित्य अच्छे युक्ता अच्छा हु इस नित्य एंड हु इस युक्ता कर्मधारे इस बेटर और यू कैन आल्सो से नित्य ना युक्ता हा नित्य त्वे ना युक्त नित्य ना देर विल बी भाव निर्देश है इट विल बी � तेशाम यानी हु इज नित्य युक्ता हु इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज देयर एज आत्मा नॉट एज अ वेकर ड्रीमर डीप स्लीपर और वन हु इज एफ्लिक्टेड और अ जीवा और अ हस्बैंड एंड और अ यू नो ओनली डिफाइंड बाय द वर्ल्डली एट्रिब्यूट्स ही इज नॉट ही इज नित्य हा बिकॉज़ दैट डेफिनेशन चेंजेस चाइल्ड टू द फादर और अ मदर चाइल्ड टू अ पेरेंट एंड यू नो Parent to a child. There was there is change in definition, but nitya is who that atma alone is nitya. So that jnani who knows his swarupa as atma swarupa abhinna tvena pratyag abhinna brahma or brahma brahma abhinna atma who is that jnani that jnani tesha madhye vishishyate he is superior. He is the most superior among all this. Eka bhakti hi. And eka bhakti means what? Eka bhakti scha. He is this nitya yukta bhavati. And eka bhakti scha. Eka smin bhakti asya. Eka smin kasmin. Eka smin paramatmani tattve. Pratyaka vinna paramatmani eka smin bhakti hi asya saha eka bhakti hi. He is that eka bhakti. Eka smin. Advitiye eka smin brahmani. Atmani bhakti asya saha eka bhakti hi. He is that eka bhakti jnani. There is no other tattva for him. There is no second at all. Whether Brahma, Abrahma, Vishnu, Avishnu, there is no division at all. Everything is only one tattva. Thereby he cannot be different. He is that jnani. Advaita jnani nitya yukta ha. Thereby nitya yukta ha. Vishishyate he is the most superior there. विशिष्यते व्हाट विशेषम आधिक्यम आपद्यते ही अटेंस दी हाईएस्ट अतिरिच्यते स्यता ही इज़ दी मोस्ट सुपीरियर ही अटेंस दी परब्रह्मतत्त्वा एंड प्रिया ही ज्ञानी न हा अत्यर्थम अहम् सचा ममा प्रिया हा यस्मात सुप्रिया ही यस्मात ही इज़ यस्मात यस्मात ज्ञानी न हा अत्यर्थम अहम् सॉरी ज्ञानी न हा आत्मा ज्ञानी न हा आत्मा अहम् आत्मा ज्ञानी न हा सी अहम् अहम् इस हीर भगवान से अहम् प्रिया ही ज्ञानी न हा आत्मा अहम् I am the आत्मा of ज्ञानी आत्मा of ज्ञानी means what is he not the आत्मा of others he is the आत्मा of others also he is the जीवात्मा for everyone he is the जीवात्मा there is no separate आत्मा this ब्रह्मा Ishwara is the Atma, but Jnani knows it, therefore he is same as the Jnani, thereby dear, thereby he is the dear, dear most Priya hi Jnani na ha, Atyartham aham sacha mama Priya ha, and not only sacha Jnani mama Atma eva iti mama Atyartham Priya ha, Atyartham is adverbial, not only Priya, Atyartham Priya ha, he is the most dear to me, and I am most dear to him. Both ways it will work. Tasma jnani na atma tvat vasudeva ha priya ha bhavati ityartha sacha jnani mama vasudeva se atma eva iti mama atyartam priya ha. Both ways Bhagawan is dear to him and he is dear to Bhagawan. Why? Because atmanas tukamaya sarvam priyam bhavati. The Lord is dear because Lord is not different from me. And why am I dear to the Lord? Because I am the Swarupa of the Lord. There is no difference between the two. The Lord, the, the Ishwara is with the Upadhi. Jivatma individual is with the Upadhi. You remove the Upadhi, the Swarupa is same. Thereby, Jiva Brahma even Aparaha. Jiva is not separate from Brahma. Jiva is Brahma. Brahma is Jiva. This is the only way you can make the equation. Elsewhere, when... Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma, there it is Bada Samanadi Karanyam. If you take Jeeva as with Upadhi, then Bada Samanadi Karanyam or you need Bhagat Tyaga Lakshana or Jahad Ajal Lakshana. 
with with jagat you can't do that with jagat you cannot have jahad uh, ajal lakshana there is only bada samana dikran you have to negate the world and say this prapancha is brahma because prapancha is nama rupatmaka mithya non existent even in brahma thereby not being there through negation there is there is opposition or samana dikran with jiva brahma you can say both ways brahma is jiva jiva is brahma because upadis are mithya what remains is satchidananda brahma thereby both ways you say this priya ha atyartam priya ha good work i'll do the anvaya later but uh, i think the, you have got the anvaya i'll just mention the an- anvaya here there is nothing else to do here arjuna he bharatarshava uh, janaha सुकृतनो जना चतुर्विदा चतुर्विदा सुकृतनो जना मं भजंते एंड हू आर दोज आर्ता आर्ता जिज्ञासु अर्थार्थी ज्ञानी च चतुर्विदा सुकृतन जना मं भजंते सो दैट्स यू कैन मेक दी अन्वया बाय पुटिंग आर्ता जिज्ञासु अर्थार्थी ज्ञानी च जस्ट बिफोर बिगिनिंग दी फर्स्ट सेंटेन्स इट सेल्फ देन तेषा मध्ये ज्ञानी नित्ययुक्त एक विभक्ति विशिष्य एंड ज्ञानी ज्ञानी अत्यर्थम अहम प्रिय एंड मम च ज्ञानी प्रिय स इज देर स ज्ञानी मम च प्रिय और स ज्ञानी मम प्रिय भवती अथ्यर्थम प्रिया अथ्यर्थम कैन बी रियूज इन बोथ दी सेंटेंसेस हियर सो दिस इज वेर विल स्टॉप विल डू दी रेस्ट इन दी विल दिस इज विश्लो का सेवेंटीन सो एटीन विल सी इन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट हाउ नारायण परोगता दंडम अभियुक्त संभव मंडस्यांतस्तमी लोक सप्तद्वीपाचिनी दिन एनी क्वेश्चन So I'll see you in the next part. Namaste.